So good afternoon and thank you for joining me today for the Delecta Limited September Investor Webinar. I'm Jane Morgan, the Investor and Media Relations Manager. Yesterday we announced that uranium exploration is underway at the REX project in Colorado. Today I am joined by Delecta's Managing Director, Malcolm Day, to discuss these exploration programs. To ask a question throughout the presentation, please use the Q&A function at the bottom of the screen. I'll now introduce you to Malcolm. Thanks, Jane, and thanks everyone for joining us today. I'm sure you've all read the APEX announcement we released yesterday in relation to the REX project. So Delecta acquired the REX project, or we actually acquired 60% of Sunrise Minerals, which owns the project, and we acquired that um, last year, and we started exploration on it middle of last year. Unfortunately, not long after we started exploration, the outlook for uh, uranium in a, was fairly negative and the sentiment was fairly negative. Um, so we, I won't say we abandoned it, but we decided not to pursue too much work on it. Obviously, um, this year things have changed. Back in April, we had the Morgan Stanley report come out. They forecast price of uranium to be $48 US a pound um, by 2024. And that, that changed, I suppose, um, our interest in, um, in the project. And then, of course, in the last month or so, we've had Sprott coming out buying physical uranium on the market. That's pushed up the spot price. Uh, it was up to 42 US a pound last week. That's changed things dramatically. Uh, recently, we've had Shaw and Partners here in Australia. Their research report um, out recently, they forecast uranium to be US $60 a pound from come 2028. And obviously, it takes uh, new projects a while to uh, develop a project and bring it, on, bring it online. But most projects um, worldwide need, need the $50 to $60 US a pound for them to be economic. Um, so anyway, we've, we've just started or we've recommenced exploration again at the Rex, Rex project. We've done a rock chip sampling and soil sampling program last year. We've just done another one. Um, we've submitted the, um, the samples to our ALS um, lab for assay results. We should get them back um, probably early to mid next month. That will help us then define where to uh, focus our exploration efforts. Um, once, once we get them back, and we will we'll sit down on the map and go through in conjunction with the uh, historic exploration results, again, where we can focus our exploration efforts, but then we'll probably do uh, further soil sampling, further uh, field mapping. We'll also get inside the adits of the existing mines. There's four um, historic mines on the, on the REX site. Um, they were mined years ago, but they stopped mining due to the low price of uranium. So again, things have changed. So we're going to be able to get into those adits. We can um, do tests. We can get a GPS in there um, the, with a geologist and a surveyor. Um, we we'll take samples. We'll, we'll do the mapping. Um, and ultimately, come early next year, we should be in a position to define some drill targets. So that's where we're heading. Thank you for that. I know you sort of covered this in, uh, in your introduction, but I'll, I'll ask a few questions. And again, webinar attendees, please feel free to um, send through your questions via the Q&A function at the bottom of the screen. Um, so again, you did just mention this, Malcolm, but can you just elaborate a little bit more on the recent exploration undertaken at the REX project? Yes, so a couple of weeks ago, we had um, a geologist and a surveyor um, out in the field. And they basically um, go through all the surface mineralization um, take rock chip samples and GPS coordinates so we can actually um, upload them into the software and, and plot them. Um, they also went through um, some of the adits, just looking at mineralisation. Luckily, um, it's quite apparent where the mineralisation is there. Um, having existing adits underground is helpful. They get on that, under there and see what's there, but um, the uranium mineralisation is yellow, um, so that's pretty obvious. You don't need to be a geologist to see that. And the ven vanadium mineralisation is a darker colour and it's, it's outcropping there in many places. I visited the project last year. Um, whilst I've done, a, I've done three units in geology, I'm not a geologist, but it was fairly easy for me to pick up the mineralisation. Um, so that's where we're at with that, and we, we'll, we'll have the results back um, next month. Now, we're lucky that we're in Eurovan, Eurovan Mineral Belt. That's got a rich history dating back to late 1800s, early 1900s. Um, um, Uranium mining also vanadium, but the average grade through the area historically has been 0.24% uranium um, with a significant credit 
being the vanadium, which is about 1.25%. Vanadium on itself, um, that's almost probably an economic grade given the current price of vanadium. Um, it's up around the $10 or just under $10 US a pound. Um, so we're in, a, we're in an, an area which is rich in uranium vanadium. And in fact, what really put Moab, which is the closest city in Utah, just over the border on the map, was the discovery in 1952 by Charlie Steen. Of course, it was one of those success stories where was, he was on his last exploration dollar. Um, but that, that changed the whole area significantly. Um, in 1952, in the first six months, they pulled out over a million dollars of oil, which would translate to probably the tens of billions these days. So we're in a, we're in a, a, a good area with no mineralisation, with a rich history. Um, so we're off to a good start. Thank you. Actually, just answered my next question. So um, this one's come through a few times as well. Based on the exploration successes at Rex, is there potential to further expand the company's land holding? Yes, so we've currently got 256 claims. Each claim is um, 20, 20 acres, so it's already quite a, a large area. Um, but the company has been evaluating other uranium projects in the area. I mean, obviously things have changed again, like in the last few months, so the focus has come back on uranium. It's one of them stories, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Um, there's plenty of projects over there which no one was really interested in a while back, but um, we're certainly interested in now. Thank you. And just one to, uh, to Sprott now. So with, uh, with Sprott buying up physical uranium reserves, where do you see the uranium prices going in the short to medium term? So going back to the Morgan Stanley report, which came out citing or forecasting uranium at 48 US a pound come 2024, that was published in April. And that was prior to um, Sprott buying the market. So that's now redundant. I'm quite sure everyone would agree. Um, Shaw and Partners brought out a report recently, I think last week, and, and they've, they've forecast uranium at US 60 a pound um, come 2028. So um, that's economic. Um, so that's, that's probably where we're going to head pretty quickly at the moment. And, and noting, and, and even with Shaw's report, they'll probably have to update that soon, given that Sprott's um, undertaking another billion-dollar capital raise to, again, buy more uh, physical uranium on market, and that changes things, changes all the dynamics pretty quickly. There's one that's just come through about Sunrise. So what is the commercial arrangement with Sunrise with the remaining 40% uh, and shared cost exploration? At the moment, the lecture's carrying all the costs, um, but we're in discussions with, with Sunrise in relation to that um, 40%. Thank you. There's quite a few on the exploration strategy, which I think you have touched on, but perhaps for any of the webinar attendees that did miss out, do you just want to talk about the next steps for the exploration strategy at Rex? Sure. So the next steps will be um, waiting for the assay results. As soon as we get the assay results, we can um, put those results into the software. Um, that plots it in there. Um, with the previous exploration results um, and also the, the field mapping of known mineralisation. Um, that will help us because it is quite a large area and we can't just drill anywhere. We need to be very focused. We need, we need to have compelling reasons to drill. Um, so this will help us define where to focus our um, exploration efforts a bit more. We'll do another um, rock chip and soil sampling and field mapping exercise. And then we'll probably get a, a geophysicist involved as well, um, look the physical structures, and that'll help us pinpoint where, where is the best area to drill. Uh, and just finally then, so what can shareholders look forward to over the coming months? Well, we should have significant news flow. Um, we obviously understand that news flow is what everyone wants to see. Um, and obviously we need to update the market anyway, but I'd, I'd suggest that next month we'll, it'll be our first um, report in relation to the assay results but then there'll be ongoing news yeah, right, right through to drill. Wonderful. Well, I think that's covered everything. So thank you all for joining the Delecta September Investor Webinar. Should we have missed any of your questions, please feel free to reach out via the contact details on the bottom of our ASX releases. Um, we look forward to updating you in the coming months. Great. Thanks for that, Jane. Thanks, guys, for attending.